Hey, this is Chris Menard. I've got a really cool treat for you today. I have Google Sheets running, and I did a Google search, and I came up and did a list of countries by populations. And I found this Wikipedia page, and if you notice, there's actually a little table right here. Then down below is the actual information that I want, and I could sit here and do this, copy and paste, but that doesn't always work and then a bunch of hyperlinks come come in. So simply copy the URL, go back to Google Sheets, and we're going to type in equals import HTML quotations, I'm going to paste that URL, quotations, comma, I know it's a table, so I'm going to put the word table in quotations, comma, and I believe it's the second table on that Wikipedia page. What's the, oh, looks right. Number one is China, 1,403,000,000. China, perfect. So this right here was table one. And just to test this, watch this. I'm back here where I put it in, equals import. If I put in a 1, it'll put in just that little bit of information, which is coming from right here. So let me go back and make it a 2. And I'm going to do this one more time. Before I do this, let me show you a cool trick. Let's say I'm making this up. I want to know the top. 15 countries. I'm going to highlight the top 15. Control. Whoops, let me do that again. Highlight the 15. Hold down the control key. Get their population. They have to match if you do the control key. Insert up at the top. Let's put in a chart. There is a column chart, not the chart that I want. So let's just simply click, let's just simply change it to a map chart. There you go. China, India, it is working. I'll do this one more time, so let me delete that. And there's what I typed. I'm going to delete it though. One more time. Another Google search, and I found uh, something about Atlanta. And if you notice, once again, we got pictures and images. Uh, looks like a table over here, but I want to pick up this historical population. So let's copy the URL. Quotations. Paste it. Close the quotes, comma. No, it's a table comma. I'm going to take a guess which one it is. Probably four. Obviously not four. Just to show you what that is. That's this information here. So it's going to be three that I, I bet. There I go. And once again, I could easily make a chart out of this. So that's a really cool feature. Hopefully that's going to help you with some of your business analysis so you're not sitting there copying and pasting stuff. So I'm using Wikipedia, I'm using Google Sheets, and I'm using the formula import HTML. Thank you.